I just want to finish on this last thing. Angel Reese. I truly wish the best for this young woman. People want to call me a hater when I make comments and critiques about things. I don't understand that term anymore because it's like if you criticize someone, you're a hater. Because if that's the case, then Stephen A. Smith is the biggest hater on the planet, as is every person that's on television. Because that's literally what they do all day is, crit is, is critique things. Crit criticism, if all you did is praise people, they never get better. I balance praise. I think she is a dog of a player. When I say dog, like a, a rod. Do I think she's a tremendously skilled player? No. I think she can get a lot better. I think she needs to work on her game because she's going to be playing against a bunch of big six foot five, six foot six women who can ball in the WNBA. But you cannot puff your chest and always, and, and puff, puff your chest out when it's going good. But then when you lose, have a sob story and cry and, and sit in a press conference weeping about how you've gotten death threats and you've gotten, you're sexualized and you're this and you're that. You puffed your chest out and you know what? Caitlin Clark didn't give you the smoke that she could have given you. She, did, she acted in a professional manner, shook your hand. She didn't. I would have done a double, du I mean, I wouldn't have because I, I talk shit about it, but a double DX suck it with followed by you can't see me and then I'll shake your hand. But she didn't do that. She shook her hand and all that. But you can't come in a press conference after boohoo crying and then voice all the things that have happened to you in the past year and how you're not happy. Sweetheart, when you post certain things of yourself on social media, you leave them for people to say something about. And when you sit here and say you've been sexualized, you should not be posting things that would make men sexualize you. That's a, that's a, that's just a, a, men have enough of a vivid imagination to sexualize just about anything. We, that's who we are as men. We, you see a woman with clothes on, you're picturing her without them. Am I wrong, gentlemen? I know you don't want to admit it publicly, but I, that's I, what I, most. I don't agree with that. You don't? No, I, 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 I agree with you. It's close. It's, 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 it, happens, a, it happens you're a lot. Going to a club, you're going to a club. A woman's it's, wearing a tight skirt. Yes. You're picturing how not with that tight yeah, skirt. Basically, we, you're, you're saying everything. You, yeah. You go to the beach. Let's keep it real. Women are in thongs. You're looking at them. Yeah. They don't wear thongs because they want to impress themselves. They're, looking, they're wearing thongs. Nick, you have a six pack. You don't take your shirt off to make men look. You make, take it off because you look good, bro. Yeah. It is what it is. And women look at that. Let's not lie to ourselves. I don't take mine off because I have a one pack, a big round belly. So the fact is you cannot post stuff about yourself. Not to mention you're on the court with make the ass eyelashes, makeup, shorts tucked under to cup. You, to, everything that's done is to sexualize yourself. Men don't have to do it when you do it yourself and you do it for money. Damn, I hate a great with Rudy. Huh? I hate agreeing with you. Yeah, but you don't have to do it for money. Like, you're a ball player. I don't care how you look when you play ball. You might, but that's you doing it for you. And let's be real. We know why some men watch women's basketball. It's because 90% because of women's basketball players are not sexualized because they're not attractive to most men. So the fact of the matter is you cannot be puffing your chest out and then when you lose, cry. And talk about how people have hurt your feelings because it gets worse as you get older. I wish you the best. I truly do. I hope you do great. But if you want to know about hate, LeBron James has been hated for 20 years. He has experienced hate beyond hate from a lot of people. You have to ignore it. You're making millions of dollars. Fuck what anybody else thinks. On that note, I, I just want to say, if you're going to play the villain role, and I know she said that she didn't ask for it, but you kind of did. You kind of did. You, or, or you stepped into it when people, you know, said she, that you... She brought a crown to the bench so before you, the game. You kind of did all the uh, extra things. But I'm going to say, if you're going to do it, go 10 toes fucking down, stand up for what you did. Even in the fucking loss, take it, 
like it's a grain of salt, go out there and say, hey, man, the better team did win, and that's what it was. But if we played them again, we'll probably beat them. And, and, you know, I, I, I rock with that type of stuff. I don't – the whole coming back and we're saying this and that after we was talking shit and, or being the tough motherfucker all, all the time. And I get it. It could be kind of you know, tiring, keep doing it and fighting against it. But, man – Man, rock in it, man. Do what you got to do. Talk your shit. Have fun. I don't give a fuck. All the people like Rudy who cry about it, who loves it, really behind door, behind closed doors. He loves that hard-nosed shit. Man, keep doing it, man. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Make your money. Talk your shit, young woman. And um, enjoy the draft. I hope you, you know, I hope you work on your game a little bit more because it's, ooh, look, it could use some work. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up right there, uh, guys. Uh... <laughs> Uh, but she's a yeah, fun player Angel. to watch. Okay, cool. Angel Reese, I wish you nothing but the best. I wish you nothing but the best. Uh, their views are not my views, and they are not the views of Come On Now, the podcast. Come On Now podcast, it's his own IP. Those guys are their own personalities. We're, 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 we're our own entity. Uh, yeah, with that being said, I love all things women. I'm an advocate. I'm an ally. And yeah. Uh, we are going to look at this are, fake ass dude what the we are fuck going to. thank you for watching come on now the podcast please be sure to subscribe like comment and ring that bell so you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content you can also find us on facebook and instagram at come on now podcast and x and tiktok at come on now pod thank you again for supporting this channel mm -hmm.